You know what you you got to remember that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. So energy offered to the spiritual realm or to spirits is basically uh, it's returned back to the living as insight, wisdom, guidance, good luck, you know. Um, and basically a lot of it usually comes um, typically from an intuitive perspective. Um, and that's, that's just how it returns back to us. So if you make an offering to your ancestors, they will return that energy to you. Now, the thing is that, you know, like I said, one of the things I struggled with and a lot of things, uh, one of the things I found that a lot of people who, especially if you're born and raised in the West, um, particularly here in North America, one of the things that you have to make sure that you don't do is you can't intellectualize and understand and try to understand how this works. OK, not from a left brain perspective, um, because as soon as you go in here and you do that, I, I swear you, you muck up the whole process. OK, um, and you, you won't be able to figure it out. You know, you'll find yourself maybe a month or so later going, you know, starting back at ground zero. Um, you got to understand this is a spiritual practice or, you know, a spiritual technology, which is based upon knowing, not believing in thinking. OK, it's kind of like it's kind of like knowing that God exists versus believing and thinking that God exists. OK, it's two different things. All right. Now, remember, an offering is composed of time and energy. All right. So when you make an offering to your ancestors, you are giving them your time and your energy. So in return, the ancestors are giving you their blessings. All right. This is why in some cultures, um, you know, they burn model, <laughs> model cars and model airplanes uh, to their ancestors. It's to show an appreciation. So make offers to your ancestors if you want to gain their assistance. Um, you can't give. The thing is, though, um, you, you can't give every spirit of the dead your time and energy or an offering. Um, you only want to give those um, those who actually are contributing to your life, who are trying to improve your life. You only want to give them the time and energy. You only want to give them offerings. Um, those who are trying to assist you and, like I said, better your life. This is the reason why you can't just sit up there and give, you know, your dead homies, you know, Pookie and Ray Ray a swig, um, you know, because all it's going to do is encourage them to give you more of that same violence, that same nonsense and everything that they suffer from, you're basically going to get the same thing that they did. OK, um, you know, the best way to actually go ahead and deal with Pookie and Ray Ray, um, you want to give them some light. What you do is. What you do is, you know, go, go give them some light, you know, give Pookie and Ray Ray, tell them to go to the, you know, to the edge of the hood. Um, and then tell them to make sure that none of that poison and none of that other BS comes into the community. Um, then give them some, you know, give them some, give them a swig then. All right. 